Yo, what the hell is going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners, Lesson 1. <laughs> Alright gang, I want to welcome you to what is quite possibly the best jQuery tutorial series on the planet <laughs> at the minute. I'm joking of course, but it is going to be pretty awesome. Um, but before we get started, I want to go through just a few things you're going to need to know to make the most out of this course. First one is HTML because jQuery and JavaScript in general are all about manipulating and changing and interacting with HTML. So if you don't know any of that, then you're going to be interacting with nothing, which is going to be a bit daft. So I've got a course for uh, beginners HTML. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. The second thing you need to know is some JavaScript. You don't need to know tons, but you need to know the basics, things like loops, variables, if statements, uh, the different types of uh, data we can use in JavaScript. And all the same rules apply in jQuery as they do in JavaScript, because at the end of the day, jQuery is not a language on its own, it's just a JavaScript library. It enhances JavaScript for us. So if you don't know any of that, go ahead and check out my JavaScript for Beginners tutorial. I'll leave that in the description down below also. Third thing you need to know is a little bit of CSS, and you don't need to be a wizard, you just need to know a few different selectors, how to target content on a page, and that's because in jQuery, we're going to use these selectors to target the content also, making working with the DOM much, much easier, all right? So, now we've got that out of the way, um, I want to go through the syllabus, um, basically what we're going to be covering in this playlist. All right, so I thought the word syllabus made me sound too much like a college lecturer. So I went for Ninjabus instead, which I thought sounded quite cool. So the Ninjabus, guys, is this. We're going to be looking, first of all, at what jQuery is and how we use it in our JavaScript files, right? Second thing we're going to do is take a look at the DOM in jQuery and how we use those CSS selectors to target content within your HTML. Then we're going to look at interacting with that content. And by that, I mean adding, removing, or changing the HTML. After we've done that, we'll take a look at how jQuery handles events, which is a big improvement on vanilla JavaScript, much easier in my opinion. Um, then we'll take a look at animations, uh, sliding things from left to right, sliders, uh, faders, that kind of thing. And then finally, we're going to look at a couple of examples using jQuery, real world examples that is, and some plugins. And plugins are essentially just additions to jQuery that we can use in our JavaScript code to make life easier or to perform a specific function for us. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. Um, I hope you're looking forward to this course as much as I am. If you have any questions, you can leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in lesson two, where we're going to take a look at what jQuery actually is. I'll see you guys then.